Chapter 6 Now you will see what I will do to Pharaoh, the Lord told Moses. When he feels my powerful hand upon him, he will let the people go. In fact, he will be so anxious to get rid of them that he will force them to leave his land. And God continued, I am the Lord. I appeared to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob as God Almighty, though I did not reveal my name, the Lord, to them. And I entered into a solemn covenant with them. Under its terms I swore to give them the land of Canaan, where they were living. You can be sure that I have heard the groans of the people of Israel, who are now slaves to the Egyptians. I have remembered my covenant with them. Therefore say to the Israelites, I am the Lord, and I will free you from your slavery in Egypt. I will redeem you with mighty power and great acts of judgment. I will make you my own special people, and I will be your God. And you will know that I am the Lord your God, who has rescued you from your slavery in Egypt. I will bring you into the land I swore to give to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. It will be your very own property. I am the Lord. So Moses told the people what the Lord had said, but they wouldn't listen any more. They had become too discouraged by the increasing burden of their slavery. Then the Lord said to Moses, Go back to Pharaoh, and tell him to let the people of Israel leave Egypt. But Lord, Moses objected, My own people won't listen to me any more. How can I expect Pharaoh to listen? I'm no orator. But the Lord ordered Moses and Aaron to return to Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and to demand that he let the people of Israel leave Egypt. These are the ancestors of clans from some of Israel's tribes. The descendants of Reuben, Israel's oldest son, included Hanoch, Palu, Hezron, and Kamai. Their descendants became the clans of Reuben. The descendants of Simeon included Jemuel, Jamin, Ochad, Jachin, Zohar, and Shaul, whose mother was a Canaanite. Their descendants became the clans of Simeon. These are the descendants of Levi, listed according to their family groups. In the first generation were Gershon, Kohath, and Marari. Levi, their father, lived to be 137 years old. The descendants of Gershon included Libni and Shimei, each of whom is the ancestor of a clan. The descendants of Kohath included Amram, Isar, Hebron, and Uziel. Kohath lived to be 133 years old. The descendants of Marari included Malai and Mushai. These are the clans of the Levites listed according to their genealogies. Amram married his father's sister, Jochebed, and she bore him Aaron and Moses. Amram lived to be 137 years old. The descendants of Isar included Korah, Nepheg, and Zikrai. The descendants of Uziel included Mishael, Elzaphan, and Sithrai. Aaron married Elisheba, the daughter of Aminadab, and sister of Neshon, and she bore him Nadab, Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar. The descendants of Korah included Asir, Elkanah, and Abiasaph. Their descendants became the clans of Korah. Eleazar, son of Aaron, married one of the daughters of Putiel, and she bore him Phinehas. These are the ancestors of the Levite clans listed according to their family groups. The Aaron and Moses named in this list are the same Aaron and Moses to whom the Lord said, Lead all the people of Israel out of the land of Egypt, division by division. They are the ones who went to Pharaoh to ask permission to lead the people from the land of Egypt. At that time, the Lord had said to them, I am the Lord. Give Pharaoh the message I have given you. This is the same Moses who had argued with the Lord, saying, I can't do it. I'm no orator. Why should Pharaoh listen to me? 